So Indiana Representative Trey Hollinsworth, a Republican, has said that, you know, we need to open up the economy. It's okay if people keep dying. Uh, the economy is more important than, than people's lives. We got to look at the lesser of two evils here. And, you know, it's actually less evil to try to help this this magical economy. We got to keep that going at all costs. Um, you know, fuck grandma and fuck all these other people that might die by opening up the economy. What's really important is the economy. Yeah, yeah. And obviously that's a completely ridiculous uh immoral and unethical perspective to take on basically every level um economy is not what matters you dumbass trey hollandsworth what matters is people people's health people's public health keeping people safe the u.s government could have easily could have been giving people an emergency ubi payment of at least two grand you know starting a couple months ago for the duration of this crisis so people are able to you know still pay their bills businesses are still able to pay their employees while all this crap is going on because again protecting people's health and lives is what's really important not some fucking economy put that shit on pause put that shit on hold That'll be there when this is over. The economy doesn't really matter. People, human relations, taking care of each other, thinking about the greater good, thinking about going beyond just the fucking dollar sign. That's what's important, you, you fucking just psychopath. I mean, Jesus Christ, these are the type of people that get elected because they're willing to say or do anything to prop up power, to prop up the capitalist system that does unfortunately put profits above people's health and it's just you know really sick um example of that in real time and then you know you had two or three weeks ago the lieutenant governor of texas saying a you know a similar thing basically uh, you know what trump was saying that the uh, cure can't be worse than the disease itself and you know how old people should be willing to die in order to you know fix the economy for the younger generations and whatnot and um, even if we were to you know follow that logic it doesn't make any sense because if you open up the economy before we have adequate um, testing and social tracing and you know proper PPE for all these different industries it's going to end up leading to more hot spots more outbreaks the economy will be going further to shit because more people will be out of job more people will be getting sick it'll continue to overwhelm our healthcare system all of these things so if you're actually really concerned about the precious the precious economy and you know our capitalist system then you should be advocating for you know medicare for all emergency ubi and all that stuff because and adequate testing and social tracing and all that stuff because if you actually want people to get back to work sooner than later then you need to make sure it's safe for them to do that or more people will be continue to be out of work and our economy will continue to tank if we're not able to actually nip it nip the problem in the bud if you will so just i mean a ridiculous take and if you really feel that way um trey then you know you should go go volunteer in the hospital don't wear any type of ppe or anything go out there go go sacrifice yourself if it's if it's the less of the two evils but of course you know you have a cushy job in congress with good benefits good medical benefits all that stuff you're on recess right now you're probably locked up in you know some nice house somewhere in indiana while they actually the real frontline workers are the ones putting themselves um, on the line and you know you got a cushy job you don't have to worry about that so it's like you Trump Texas lieutenant governor and anybody else who has this asinine perspective that the economy is more important than people's health okay then go 
Go lead by example. Get out there on the front lines. Put yourself in harm's way. Don't use any PPE. Go sacrifice yourself. Go, go lead by example. Go contract the coronavirus and go show how heroic you're being by trying to save the economy while putting your, um, your health and on the line. So, I mean, <laughs> of course they're not willing to do that. They just want, um, you know, people and often the most vulnerable and marginalized groups to get back to work to prop up, you know, their stock market and, and their, you know, moneyed interest while, um, you know, everybody else continues to scrape by, you know, with stagnating wages and in increasing income and wealth inequality while the top 1% and particularly the top 1% 0.1% continues to do really well. We just saw this report, I believe it was last, um, in the last couple of weeks or something, the billionaires in the stock market have gained a substantial, like billions more dollars in wealth due to the stock market going up. While again, 17 million Americans have lost their jobs in the last three weeks and stocks, um, and you know bonds that type of stuff are owned by a very small percentage of the US population so again it's he's just wanting to basically you know put put everybody's lives at risk to prop up um, you know our ca our capitalist economy that unfortunately oftentimes well pretty much always puts profit above people's lives and his perspective of it's just another clear example of that. Peace. Much love.